while Draco's speedy, she's reached the other side of the forest. Oh, hurry up, Quetzal. Draco's at the moat. OK, now all Draco needs to do is run across that drawbridge. Oh, but it's lifting up. They better hurry before it closes. Draco's leaping through the air. Phew, that was close. She landed on the edge of the closing bridge. <laughs> She's sliding down like a slippery dip and straight through the castle's front door. Draco's inside, but I don't think Quetzal stands a chance. The drawbridge is about to... Close! <laughs> Quetzal doesn't need the bridge. She could fly over the water. But she'll be locked out of the castle. Unless... Here she goes, launching into the air and towards the closed door. She's hovering at the entrance, but what's she doing now? Can we get a camera to take a closer look? Is Quetzal trying to bust the door? Well, actually, both races today are toothless. What? Don't you need a few chompers if you're a meat eater? Quetzal uses her sharp beak more like chopsticks. She picks up her prey, tips her head back and gulps down her snacks. That still doesn't explain why she's pecking at the door. Ah, I see. She's not pecking, she's picking. What? She's using her pointy beak like tweezers. She's picking open the lock and... Quetzal has released the drawbridge with her precise pecking. Or was that picking? And she's wasting no time scooting straight through the doorway and into the castle. Oh, look at all the cobwebs. It must have been a while since this was used by any king or queen. Ah! Uh, uh, sorry, you are a queen, Quetzal. <laughs> and you made me jump. I don't think she was trying to scare you. I think she knocked her noggin on the ceiling. Ouch! It's a tight squeeze for our giants moving around in here. Draco, where are you? Aha! There she is, hanging from that rafter. No, wait. I'm mistaken. Did she shrink? Draco is at least a gazillion times bigger than that creature. And that looks like a whole colony of... Bats! <laughs> and not just any bats, vampire bats. How do you know? Well, see how they're moving? Unlike other bats, they can run, walk, hop and fly. There's a massive swarm of the mini monsters. We've disturbed their slumber and now they're everywhere. I think I see Draco in the batty blizzard. She's making her way towards that window ledge and she's taking a leap. Kessel's vacating the way she came in. She's flying out along the drawbridge with a whole host of bloodsuckers on her back. Bloodsuckers? Well, they're not called vampire bats for nothing. For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown-up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more Dino Dome!